So let's talk about what is capacity. The definition of capacity of an operation is the maximum level of value added activity over a period of time that the process can achieve under normal operating conditions. Now that's a very specific definition. We talk about design capacity and that is the capacity which the, the designers of the system had in mind when they commissioned the operation. The effective capacity of an operation is the design capacity minus any planned loss. The actual output is what you achieved and the avoidable loss is the effective capacity minus actual output. So what does that look like? Let's take an example of a football stadium. If you have a stadium with 100,000 seats, you've got a design capacity of 100,000. If you predict that 75,000 people will come to an event, so you close some areas and maybe bring in fewer staff, you have an effective capacity of 75,000. And that 25,000 is a planned loss. Now, In the event, if only 60,000 people come, you've still got a planned loss of 25,000. You've got an actual output of 60,000, and there's your avoidable loss of 15,000. Why is it avoidable? Well, if you'd done better forecasting, or maybe had more adverts, better marketing, you wouldn't have had 15,000 people non-attending. You would have had the 75,000. Or maybe if you'd closed more, you could have predicted that only 16,000 would come. Let's take another example, the coffee shop. What's the unit of analysis? Well, before we just looked at a fixed number of seats, but capacity can be related to the physical space people or process. So let's look again at that definition. It's the maximum level of value added over a period of time that the process can achieve under normal operating conditions. With the stadium, we looked at a period of time being a match. But what period of time will you consider? Is it a minute, an hour, a week, a month, a year, something different? You have to decide what's appropriate for the given operation. So a coffee shop might have space for three people to serve, and each serves one person every six minutes. So let's take a day as a unit of analysis. One customer served every six minutes by each member of staff. Three people serving, that's 30 people per hour. And over a typical eight-hour day, that gives you 240 people per day that this coffee shop can serve. That's our design capacity. Today, only two people are working. That means we can serve 20 people an hour, 160 people a day. That gives us our 160 people per day effective capacity and 80 people per day planned loss. If only 60 people come to the shop all day, well, there's our actual output of 60 people. We've got quite a large avoidable loss of 100 people per day and our planned loss remains the same. 